Hi, welcome back to my channel Nas Bags and Cooks. I'm back again with a very interesting recipe for you and I'm sure you will love it. So if you want to know it, please watch my video patiently till the end. Let's get started now. Here I have taken around 30 to 40 pieces of Mary biscuits. You can take any biscuits of your choice. Now I'm going to crush the biscuits. Into these crushed biscuits, I'm going to add 100 gram of melted butter. Now let's combine the two ingredients very thoroughly. They are well combined now. I'm going to transfer into this ring mold. I've adjusted it to 6 inch. With the help of the back side of this spoon, I'm going to level it evenly on all the sides. It's done. Now let's pop it inside the fridge to let it set for some time. In the meantime, let's start with the other ingredients. Here I have taken around three dragon fruit. I'm going to use this for the recipe. Such a vibrant color, isn't it? Let's scoop out the pulp from the skin. I'm going to use around three dragon fruit. I'm not going to throw away the skin of this fruit. Instead, I'm going to use it for the recipe. But before that, let's remove the hard skin. So you can see I have removed all the hard skin. Now let's make a puree of it. Look at the beautiful pink color puree. Let's transfer it into a bowl. Here I have some homemade cheese cream. I'm going to use this. It's around uh, 200 gram. So I'm going to pour into this saucepan. Into this I add 200 gram of fresh cream. This will give a very rich and creamy taste to the recipe. I haven't added any sugar so far, 
So now I'm going to add around four teaspoons of sugar. Sugar you can add as per your taste. I'm also going to add one and a half tablespoon of agar agar powder. which is equal to three teaspoons. Let's combine them very thoroughly. Now I'm going to place it on the stove and cook this till the agar agar powder is completely dissolved into the mixture. We have to keep on stirring continuously otherwise it will clump up at the bottom. I'm keeping the flame in between low to medium. Once it starts boiling, I'm going to remove the pan from the stove. So you can see it has started boiling. It's almost done now. I'm going to switch off the flame. Now let's add the puree. All together I'm going to add two tablespoons of the puree. Here I add the second spoon. Now let's combine them very thoroughly. You can see the cheese cream has become slightly pinkish in color, isn't it? This is the right color that I want. Now let's bring the base from the fridge. You can see it is nicely set. Now I pour the cheese cream on top of it. Time to pop it inside the fridge once again. I'll keep it for some time till it's nicely set. In the meantime, let's start the next layer. I've taken 350 ml of water here. Into this, I add four teaspoons of sugar. Sugar you can add as per your taste.
I'm also going to add one tablespoon of agar-agar powder into this. Now one last ingredient left to be added here. I'm going to extract the juice of this whole lemon and add into the liquid. Let's extract the juice first. Time to place it on the stove and start cooking the liquid. I'm going to cook this till the agar agar powder is completely dissolved into the liquid. And as I always tell you, whenever you cook agar agar powder on the stove, always keep on stirring continuously, otherwise it will clump up at the bottom. It doesn't take much time once it starts boiling I'm going to switch off the flame so it's almost done you can see it has started boiling so the agar agar powder also has completely dissolved into it now I'm going to switch off the flame Let's give a final mix so that it will cool down a little bit. While it is cooling down, let's go and take out the cheese cream from the fridge. Here it is. You can see it has nicely set, isn't it? Now on top of this, I'm going to place this small dragon fruit balls which I have scooped out with the help of a small scoop. On top of this I pour the lemony liquid Now time to pop it inside the fridge once again and let it set for around 2-3 to three hours or until it's nicely set. So after 3 hours, this is how it looks and you can see it is nicely set also. Now I'm going to unmold the ring. Let's loosen the sides first. I've loosened the sides, now I'm going to slowly lift the ring. Wow! So beautiful, isn't it? Just look at the balls. The small, small, beautiful dragon fruit balls
the cheese cake looks so attractive isn't it And you can see that the sides of the cheesecake, they look so silky smooth. And the top layer has given an extra beauty to the cheesecake. I'm just in love with the beautiful transparent top layer of the cheesecake now I'll cut a slice of it and show you how does it look so smoothly the knife is running down the cheesecake isn't it Wow just look at the texture so silky smooth and it has so nicely and perfectly set am i right do try this cheesecake it's very tasty slightly tangy creamy and you know it's very rich in taste also since i've added extra cream to it so if you like watching my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe and yes please do comment also and don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload any new videos, you will get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching my video patiently till the end.